Hey Internet, welcome back to DCTV. I'm Hector Navarro and oh boy, this week on DCTV there is so much craziness happening with the legends of tomorrow that we're about to do a deep dive in the Wave Rider right now on DCTV. Check it out. All right, first up tonight on an all new Legends of Manana, we've been dealing with some stuff and here's what's been happening so far. Sarah apparently might be able to succumb to some sort of a demon power, what? Meanwhile, Zari is maybe re-engineering time itself, huh? These people are smart, y'all. Man, speaking of Zari, in tonight's episode, she finds herself in a time loop, 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 wherein at the end of the hour, on the hour, the Wave Rider blows up and everybody on board dies. So I know we're a few weeks out from Groundhog Day, but it still counts, it still applies, guys. We're still in February, this is still counting. So we're doing the time loop episode. Now Zari, she's gotta convince her teammates that she's even in a time loop. The teammates who just got back from a mission in the 70s, and you're gonna take one look at their clothes and go, woo, that's a bad outfit. And that's a reference from 1978 Superman the movie. That's what that is. Yeah, so, okay, so this is what Zari has to do. She has to figure out how the Wave Rider is exploding and who did it, whether it's on purpose, whether it's being sabotaged, or if it's accidental. In which case, she's got to go to each one of the legends in this little block of time and figure out what the heck's going on, which means all of the legend's secrets might be revealed. Now, in all seriousness, this might be my favorite episode of Legends of Tomorrow, period because it's being held down by this incredible performance by actress Tala Ash, who plays Zari. I love her in the role of Zari. She's so good in this, and she's bringing some real emotional weight to this performance. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. You're gonna love it. You will not be disappointed. That's a guarantee from Hector. That is a personal guarantee from Hector. It is so, so good. Now guys, we have scoured the history of DC Comics itself to try to find you the perfect time loop comic book storyline connection and I think we did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna hit you with this. Booster Gold, volume two, issue number five, written by Jeff Johns, art by Dan Jurgens, the man Dan Jurgens. This is of course one of my favorite comic book series of all time, and this particular issue, called No Joke, is also collected in volume one of the series, 52 Pickup, all right? It's issue five, and here's what's happening. Booster Gold is being sent back in time to try to undo the horrific outcome of the effects of The Killing Joke, yes. It's pretty brutal, it's pretty messed up, but this issue, to me, proves why Booster Gold, Michael John Carter, is one of the greatest superheroes of all time, you guys. It is fantastic, it's Booster Gold, it's Rip Hunter, they're trying to fix the time stream, and Booster gets himself caught in a little bit of a time loop trying to fix this thing. So guys, be sure to check out Booster Gold, volume two, issue number five, no joke, that is collected in Booster Gold, volume one, 52 pickup, and please, whatever you do, do not miss tonight's brand new episode of Legends of Manana, tonight. And tonight, on Monday, on Legends of Tomorrow, apparently Sarah is maybe dealing with a demonic possession and Zari is re-engineering time with it, what, huh? She's so smart, how could she be possibly doing this? This is crazy, speaking of Zari, she's stuck in a time loop, wherein at the end of it, the Wave Rider explodes every single time. Yes, I know we're a couple of weeks out from Groundhog Day, but it still applies, okay? We're still in February, it still counts. So she has to convince her to, wait a minute, this feels like I'm, like I've already done this before. Did I, did I talk about this already? Okay, Whew, this is weird. All right, you know what, let's just, let's just cut to that interview that I did with Tala Ash, let's just do that. Here we go. Tell us a little bit about your powers because your character, Zari, she comes from a place where she is a hacker, mm -hmm. she's an activist, she's a hacktivist. I think we can yes, just combine. let's do it. Let's just do that. Yeah, I don't know what done. I was doing before. Save some <laughs> syllables right there. But, uh, but then there may be some powers involved. Can you tell us a little bit about that? There are powers. So uh, she has a totem. Mm -hmm. And we know Maya also has a totem. And yeah. totems start to figure into the season pretty heavily. Cool. Uh, and so um, uh, there's a little bit of like an earth, wind, fire thing. So, so Zari encompasses the wind. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see her start to harness those powers. She has a little bit of ambivalence about the powers because the totem used to belong to her brother and it, it is sort of this family heirloom and um, she's, I think, struggling with what it is to inhabit the powers. Yeah. Um, but 
it's it's wind and she can do some pretty cool things and she can fly so that's like pretty, right pretty good yeah <laughs> have you done the you've done the effects work the sort of have, have they put we've you done up some wires? we've done some digi scans I've done I've done some wires not for the sh not yet on camera okay. but um, in anticipation of Scanning things stuff. yeah we've done some scans so yeah whoa guys that was from like three months ago what's happening what. Am I in a time loop right now? Am I in a time loop right now? Am I in a time okay, I'm having a panic attack at DC. Okay, if we we did this already. No, you're looking at me like I'm ruining a take, guys. I already did this. All right, Hector, get it together. All right, just get it together. All right, just get it together. No, it's not. It's not a time loop. You just have to do. Just do. Just do the job. Just do your job. All right, I haven't talked about this yet. I'm going crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Tonight, on Monday night, on an all new Legends of Tomorrow. No, I already said this one. 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 Now I'm not in a time loop to just, okay, I'm just gonna take it from the top. I'm a professional. I'm not freaking out. I can do this. Tonight, on an all new Legends of Tomorrow. You know what? No, I just, I just need five minutes real quick. I'm just gonna go reread that issue of Booster Gold just in case, okay? Just in case I'm in a time loop. And in the meantime, why don't we hear from our friend Meg Downey, who's gonna tell us more about the hashtag DCTV Couch Club. Take it away, Meg. Hey guys, I'm Meg Downey, and I'm the Legends of Tomorrow expert on the hashtag DCTV Couch Club. The Couch Club is a group of dedicated DC fans who love to dig into the nitty gritty of the best superhero shows on TV. The columns I post for the Couch Club are some of my favorite things to write because I can be completely genuine and share my thoughts openly, both as a comics historian and as a fan. I love Legends because I'm a sucker for misfits and outcasts finding community with one another. And let's be honest, it's probably the funniest show on DC TV. Check out my recaps at dccomics.com and tweet me your thoughts and theories at Rusty Polished. But please, don't call me a hero. I'm a Couch Clubber. <sighs> okay. All right, Meg, thank you so much, that was great. Um, uh, I talked to the man and he said that uh, uh, to just go ahead and skip right to reading the comments. But um, my cameraman said that I already did that. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the question of the week for next week. Uh, okay guys, so your question is, if you are stuck in a time loop like Zari in Legends of Tomorrow or maybe like Hector is right now, which member of the Legends would you want to be stuck with so that they could kind of help you out? Um, and if you guys could just go ahead and answer that super quick, like immediately right now, because that information could actually help me in the predicament that I'm in at this very moment. So, thank you so much. Okay guys, I, I, I'm pretty sure that that's it for DC TV this week, but remember guys, be sure to hit up the Couch Club for more insight later this week. The stability of the timeline depends on it. We'll see you next week, hopefully, if I can get out of this. Bye, bye, bye. Auf Wiedersehen, bye, bye, bye. So long, partners. Goodbye. I'm out. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. Bye-bye now. Adios. Aloha. Bye.